Hello, Cancer. I am here to do your month of June reading. Uh, let's see what's going on in June for the Cancers. The song I got on shuffle for you guys was Don't Call Me Up. I'm going out tonight. Feeling good night out of my life. Don't want to talk about us. Da -na 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 -na. Uh, <laughs> I love that song. All right. It's by Mabel. Mabel. All right. Let's get three Oracle cards. So... <laughs> You guys are having some major, you guys might be getting a lot of calls from the exes during this Venus retrograde. Um, also, happy birthday to those of you that have birthdays in June. Um, yeah, ooh, ooh, don't call me up. Don't call me up. Reevaluate your priorities. Could be your focus this month. Getting shit done, let go and enjoy. Could be a lot of celebrating going on. Grieve your losses. So I feel like you might be hearing from some exes. And you're just like, don't call, don't, don't bother. Don't bother. Let's see. Bottom of the deck, we've got the five of pentacles in reverse. So there could be a lot of people who you haven't communicated with lately. And they want to come in and communicate with you. But Cancer, I see you're moving on up. Moving on up in the world. Um... You got that boss energy going on. You've got that, like, I'm just going to have fun. It's my birthday season. I'm going to have fun. I'm going to have a good time. I'm going to live life. Um, let's see. Overall energy between you and another person. King of Swords. Let me take a sip of water for this. Could be dealing with an air sign, but honestly, I think this is your energy. I think you're just like, you know... You're in that energy of like, you better come correct or don't come correct at all. And if you haven't come correct in the past, I ain't got time for you right now. I ain't got time for the bullshit. Let us see. Cancer. Like I want to say, you know, there's like that, um, God, there's this little meme. It's like, uh, it's like that iPhone like thing and it's like savage mode on feelings off <laughs> I feel like you're in that energy you're like screw my feelings I'm gonna go out and get what I want because we got the six of wands here so I feel like you're very much focused on your own personal success your own personal victory you're kind of in an effort attitude like you are like feelings off mode you're catching flights not feelings if we can even catch flights during this time um let's Let's keep diving in. Two of Cups. Okay, interesting. Interesting. Three of Pentacles. And the uh, the page of the page of wands. So you could be in a new relationship. You're in a you could be in a new relationship. And now here we go. Here we go. You're like building this solid relationship with somebody. You really like somebody new. And of course, of freaking course that's always when people want to come in and start texting so let's see what this two of cups is because this is some soulmate energy here two of cups five of cups Ugh, five of coin there's that five of coins in reverse um gosh this is this could be somebody who's coming in this is could be somebody that you have been in a relationship with before coming in to communicate and realize when I say somebody's coming in from the past to communicate, like, that's just the energy. Like, if you're not interested in that person, well, I don't know what to tell you. That's what's coming forward. This person's energy is strong enough that they're coming into this reading for a specific person. It doesn't matter whether you want this person to come back or not. It seems like they're going to message you. Um, let's see. Page of Wands, Six of Swords. This is somebody who, this is somebody who I want to say you were in a effing relationship with, and this person just straight up ghosted you. This person could have like been like the most ultimate ghoster in the fact that they like like things were hot and heavy, and then like poof, poof, they were gone. And now they're back. 
I think this is somebody who you were kind of in an energy of, of like, for a while, you were probably like, what the hell? Why did this happen? Why did this person just like, ghost me like you know it's like one week we're talking about how much we like each other and then the next week they're just gone um yeah now this person's gonna come back in kind of communicating and I feel like you're going to be like oh screw that screw that I almost feel like this is a situation in which they had something that they still needed to maybe they weren't fully out of another connection so at the time, five of swords. Oh yeah, if this person comes back in, you've gotten to a point where you're like, screw this person, I'm better off by myself. Um, but I do think that for a while you were a little bit kind of like, oh, whoa, this person just disappeared on me without any word. And we've got the Ace of Pentacles here. Um, and the Hierophant. So Taurus energy. Taurus energy, the Fool card. This person had to, I almost want to say they were in another connection that they kind of uh, weren't fully out of. Or they were in some kind of commitment that they weren't fully ready to kind of take this leap towards a new commitment. Um, and, and it might have been moving in a way to, and this doesn't have to be that they were in another connection, because for some of them, I just see that they weren't ready to commit to a relationship, even though they might have been telling you so. It might have scared them, like, getting too close to this, and then being like, oh, they kind of ghosted the situation, but now it's like, with quarantine and everything, it's like, oh, a relationship doesn't sound so bad. So now it's like they want to come forward and make you make you some kind of offer. They want to kind of trickle on back here. This person gives zero, like two. I feel like they'll come back in not even caring that they just ghosted. And that's kind of where you're going to be like, are you effing kidding me, dude? Dude, do that, whatever. Um, are you kidding me? You're just going to pop back into my life like you didn't just ghost me for three months? And um, I almost feel like this is that type of person that's like, what do you mean ghosted you? You ghosted me. You stopped talking to me. It's like, oh, save it. Save it. Ace of Cups. Nine of Wands in reverse. Ace of Wands. Some of you might let this person back into your life. Um... Some of you might be being like, F it. I don't feel, I feel like this person will be persistent. So that's the only reason why I say like, you might think, because they must have a good explanation. They must have a good explanation from this, but I do think that be careful because this person could be that person that's like, oh my God, no, I thought you ghosted me. It's like, okay. Oh, this one popped over. Engage higher reasons. Okay. Um, seven of this Ace of Cups. This is a lot about self-love too. I think you're doing some, like you're working really hard on something. And um, your, your new beginning in love is right around the corner. It really is. Um, with that Two of Wands, it's about kind of looking forward Focusing on success, that whole reevaluating your priorities. Like, don't let this person come in and like destroy your priorities or whatever. Um, any love for that matter, because you're going to have a lot of options. You're going to have a lot of options when this person comes back in. Just like you're going to be feeling good, doing good. That's always when they come in. Like, that's when that energy clears for people to come forward. And that's why it's like, oh, they always come back when you don't even want them because your energy is not wrapped up in that anymore. So you got the Ace of Wands here. You got the Nine of Wands. I feel like this person is going to open up and like communicate something. Um, but I think that you also are opening yourself up to love. Like not even from this perspective. You're opening yourself up to love because you're giving yourself more of it. So you're going to see a lot more things that reflect that. So actually a lot more people are going to be kind of attracted to your energy. Um, Ace of Wands here. What's this Ace of Wands doing here? Chariot card. So there you are, Cancer. There's your card. You could be dealing with another Cancer. But this is kind of moving fast towards victory, towards success. 
Um, this is about focusing, focusing your attention towards, you know, what feels the most passionate, what feels the most inspired. Um, you could be doing a lot of stuff personally, like with work and your finances, that I think that you're going to have a lot of success here. Um, and because of that, there's going to be a lot of people attracted to your energy. So I do feel like... Um, the more you free yourself up, the more you just let go and enjoy life, the more you're going to be kind of vibrating that. And also, um, yeah, this person, I think you're going to get your, you're going to get your kind of aha moment with this person about why they did what they did, like why they kind of disappeared there. Um, and I do feel like they want to come offer you something, but again, Oh, that's going to be up to you whether you want to move forward on that or not. I just see you having a lot of other ways that you could like navigate in life than going with this person. But I do think that they're going to open up and kind of um, explain why they ghosted. Um, and it's going to be more about you know, I wasn't really ready for commitment, but now I am. You know, I don't think you were ready for commitment. Really watch when people communicate. Like when they say like, oh, I feel like you just didn't know what you want. Sometimes when people do that, I'm like, oh, no, I know what I want. You just don't know what you want. Um, so I feel like this person might communicate in that way. Like, oh, I just feel like you ghosted me and you weren't really interested in me and you were this, you just seem to me like somebody who doesn't know what they want. Um, no, I wouldn't have made all that effort if I didn't know that I wanted you. So just be cautious. Be cautious of this person coming back in. But judging from that song, I think you guys are. All right, so in the extended, I'm going to be looking more into who this is. More into Let's look more into why they ghosted um, or why they kind of had this disappearance. Um Let's look into messages from this person, um, what they're wanting to communicate, and advice from spirit as well as what's blocking your connections, successes, and yeah. If you're interested in that, click the link in the description box. I will see you guys there. Bye.